Okay, welcome back to part B of lesson 12, which is where I show you a solution. And in actual fact, I'm going to show you two solutions. Um, when you are writing code, the best code is the shortest code. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One is there's less room for error. And the second reason is it will just run faster because the machine will have to process less code. So I'm going to actually start with the second best solution. So the code I have from the, my example for you is getting one number between 1 and 10. And I asked you for three numbers between 1 and 100. So I'm going to change that to 100 and I'm going to run it. And as you can see, it's giving me one number there, which is 27. So to get three numbers, I'm actually just going to do what seems terribly simple. And I'm just going to run that code three times. So. There we go. Now I'm reusing the number variable, but it actually doesn't matter because it's going to make that number variable, then put it on the screen, then decide a new number, then put it on the screen and so forth. It's not brilliant coding, but it will do for what I asked you to do. So let's watch this. This is perhaps the simplest, um, I guess the most obvious version of this code. So we run that. And in fact, 29, 42, and 41. So there you go. I wouldn't have expected two random numbers to be side by side, but I guess that's what random means. It's as likely as them being spread apart. Next up, I'm going to show you the more elegant code, and I'll explain why it's more elegant. So we've got six lines of code there. I actually reckon I can get that down to four. So um, I'm going to delete the second two. And I'm going to put the first one in a for loop. So for i equals 1 to 3. Um, and then, oops, I've, um, I've mashed that up, haven't I? It's always a mistake. Now, number equals that. And end for. So that's going to run that loop three times. And it's going to generate the number three times and print it three times. So we're going to run that. And as we see, it actually does exactly the same thing. So this is still working code, but the beauty of this is that it is two lines shorter. Now, two lines shorter might not seem like it's much of a win, um, you know, four over six lines. But when you're writing very large programs, or even 30 or 40 line programs, they're easier to work with when they're shorter. So I'd recommend you make your code as short as you can. So that's the solution to number 12. I hope yours was something similar.